It's a big league game for us here, okay? They want to challenge us. We accept the challenge with arms wide open here. We make sure we play our game, and that's all we're worried about. And we begin in the Metro League. East Division matchup is the two-time defending Division Three state champs, Detroit Country Day. They're at home to take on the Jaguars from Allen Park. Country Day coming into this game in a five-game win streak. They would get on the board seven minutes into the contest. The senior Max Schilling there to put home a rebound. The Yellow Jackets take a 1-0 lead. Allen Park comes in with a nice 8-3 record, and they would respond later in the period. Brendan Rachful with the steal, and he's off on the breakaway. The senior finishes by putting it in the back of the net, and we're tied at one after the opening period. We got to stay aggressive. Got to play a little more intensity. Pick up the speed. We should be better at spear, right? As the game goes on, you get your get you get your legs back. Okay, that was a decent start. We come out of here one one in the first period. All right, we'll take that. Let's go. This period, put the hammer down. Okay. The Jags would take the lead in the second. Rageful, and the puck just gets in. That's his second goal of the game. Allen Park goes into the third, leading two to one. But back comes DCD, four minutes into the third. Junior Noah Tews shot, gets through for the goal. We're tied up at two apiece. And the Yellow Jackets would answer again just over a minute later. Our national Coney Island Player of the Year candidate, Jacob Thomas, shot from the point is tipped in front. Lucas Kroll, and it goes into the back of the net. Country Day takes the lead again at three to two. They would add some insurance late in the game. It would be Kroll once again as he turns and puts in his second of the contest. Detroit Country Day goes on to beat Allen Park 4-2 your final.